welcome back to Chew in the Kitchen. I'm Marissa and today we're going to be making something for lunch. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do so at the bottom of the page. You can also log in using any Gmail account. I've got some leftover chicken and I'm going to show you how to make a delicious panini. Let's get started. To get started, I have my chicken ready to go. This is chicken that we had last night. You can get the recipe for this chicken from my episode one, Summer Grilled Chicken. To get started, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the skin, and I'm gonna start cutting my chicken long ways in the breastbone. This chicken was delicious. I went ahead and I rubbed it with lots of herbs and spices. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cube that chicken. All right, my chicken is cut up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some flavoring to it. I'm gonna add a little bit of the Frank's Red Hot. Just enough to coat the chicken. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some ranch dressing. Then it won't be super spicy. I'm gonna stir it on up. Well, that looks good and it smells good too. I found some delicious French bread at the store. So I'm gonna go ahead. I've got some pepper jack cheese. I'm just gonna fold it in half because on the panini maker, if it's the edges are fruited, the, the cheese can melt, so I don't want that. So I'm gonna just fold it enough so nothing's hanging over the edge. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken. My panini maker, maker is plugged in and it's heating up, and we'll go ahead and add this on over. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add the paninis to the panini maker. Today we're gonna to be using the Hamilton Beach Panini Maker. Uh, you can purchase this at chewinthekitchen.com. When I first got it and decided I wanted a panini maker, Carl said, you don't need the panini maker. Mm, joke's on him now, because this makes delicious sandwiches. So we're gonna go ahead and add it on in. I'm just gonna put it in this way. And then I'm gonna press down. I kind of check on it spontaneously over the next minute or so just to make sure it's pretty done, um, but we'll be back. I know she's just waiting for me to say the magic words, you were right. I just checked up on my panis and they look ready to go. I'm going to get them off. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my panini. Oh, it looks delicious. The cheese is just oozing from it, I love it. You can follow me on Instagram at Chew in the Kitchen. I'll see you next week.